Tonight, they have spent more than 40 years fundraising for the community of Franklin. That work is now on hold after a trailer with all their belongings was stolen. So members of the Linus Lions Club tell our Miriam McCarr they just want their belongings back so that they can continue to give back. We work very hard to serve the community, and now this is just a slap in the face. Raising over $10,000 a year, the Franklin Lioness Lions Club says the work they do is a labor of love. We're a civic organization serving the community, and we do fundraising and 100% of everything we earn goes back to the community. The money they raise funds food banks, scholarships, and local charities. Now, all that work is on pause after a trailer filled with all of their supplies and the club's historic documents was stolen. Everything from day one of our club in 1979 was in there. All our awards, all our documents, our banner, we lost everything. The trailer was stolen this weekend and it was last seen here near 31st and Ryan Road. Club members tell me they're not concerned with getting the vehicle itself back, just the things inside. If the trailer means so much to you, fine. But what is inside that trailer was, was something meaningful for us. Now they say they're back at square one. We just had to figure out how we can regroup and where we go from here. They say their efforts to buy new booths and supplies will take away from helping the community they love. If we spend money to replenish it, we can't give it back to the community. So that'll be $2,000 that a food bank or a scholarships or a Salvation Army doesn't get from us. As they work to move forward, they're still hoping whoever took their trailer will bring back their belongings. No questions asked. We just want the contents. In Franklin, Miriam McCarr, TMJ4 News. Now, of course, you can share a picture of that trailer that they're looking for with your friends on Facebook by going to our Facebook page, TMJ4 News Facebook.